this way. Uh, how are we doing? Good. All right. Um, Go ahead. Lead off. Uh, all right. Is uh, Jimmy pretty much online to, to play? And also yeah. uh, Nate Hobbs and Jacory Better. I'm. Uh, both of them will be out there again today. I mean, I'm not going to say until after practice, but uh, I think we're headed in the right direction with both guys. So um, just give them one more opportunity here to work and make sure we don't, you know, have anything that comes up. But um, I feel better today than I did a few days ago. Well, as long as we're on the subject, uh, Daniel has not been able to practice. So where is he staying? Where is he uh, he's going to work some today. So, you know, we're, you know, I think with, with him, I just I would trust him to know his body and situation better than everybody else, you know. Um, and so he'll he'll do what he needs to do today to you know kind of make a assessment, and then we'll we'll figure out if you know if that's something we're going to give two more days and you know give it a shot or not. You know what I mean? This it's a little tricky with the kicker based on you know if you you don't necessarily want to dress a backup. You know what I mean? If you will, so. Uh, making a call on that is probably what we're going to do one way or the other. Um, but today will be important. Have you, have you seen enough out of him court to be confident? In yeah. Him yeah, he's had a good week and uh, fits in with our guys, done a really good job in practice, strong leg, you know. Um, you know, so he's, he's worked with our, you know, our snapper and, and our holder and got plenty of repetitions in. So uh, really like what he's done, and he'll be ready to go if we need him. <clears throat> What do you see from the team this week during practice? Just trying to get ready for this game. Good energy, um, uh, urgency. I think focus. Um, just you know, uh, a good attitude. And, and again, I think you know we. You know, there's a lot of ups and downs, and you know, again, we want to stop having the downs as much as anybody else does. But when you do that, you know, uh, your leadership shows, and I think the guys really come out with a a really good energy. You know, and uh, there's only you know you you can. You can only mourn a loss, you know, a very short time, and then you gotta, you know, you gotta move on. You know what I mean? You gotta get ready for the next one and try to win it. So, um, I really like the way that they've worked. Their approach has been uh, right on, and I expect today to be the same. <clears throat> Coach, any updates on the Darren Diablo? Um, we'll see how today goes. Um, you know, but uh, wasn't, you know, again, obviously wasn't out there the last couple of days. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes today. What does Jimmy look like? You said he's good to go, but what does he look like as far as just coming back and a little bit of extra energy? Yeah, I think he's got a little, you know, pep in his step. Um, you know, and he, again, he he's much the same as everybody else is. He didn't play last week, but I think he wants to, you know, wants to get us, you know, headed in the right direction and start doing some things that, you know, maybe we haven't been doing as well, better, um, you know, but good leadership, good energy at practice, good execution, um, working with, with everybody across the board um, and just really trying to, you know, put our focus where it needs to be and have good days and stack them this week and um, hopefully finish with a good one today, you know, in the red zone, some of our work down there in the, in the scoring area. Josh, um, Hunter Redpro's um, role and usage has kind of diminished over the last uh, couple of years, going from 100 catches um, in 2021 to, you know, what's kind of happening right now. Is there a reason for, you know, um, how things have gone for, for him? I think there's a lot of things that have happened over two years, too. I mean, last year, I think the biggest part of it was health and, you know, just being able to, you know, do the things that he was able to do the year before. Um, I, I think this year, you know, I, we've talked about this a lot. You know, we got to do a better job of doing some things to try to, you know, find ways to, to have him integrated into the, into the, the scheme. And, um, again, I think some of it is circumstantial, honestly. Um, some of it is, you know, we maybe miss an opportunity, and um, some of it is you try to, you know, focus more on it and do it more. So I think there's a lot of things that can help improve that. He's obviously a guy that can help us produce, and he has in the past, and um, one of many that we would like to try to get more involved doing things that, you know, they're right down his alley, and, and his skill set can really be productive for us. So, um, you know, we'll see if we can, you know, turn the corner on, on that. There's other guys I'd say are in the same boat, but. Uh, just offensively in general, produce, produce, produce from each position. You know, every guy as much as we can. And uh, again, there's one ball, but you know, we got to start finding you know a bunch of different guys here to help them. Um, you know, get into the flow of the game and help our offense be be more productive. We kind of live in a time where people like to throw stuff out there, um, and there's you know, oh, well, maybe the relationship really? isn't good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know, right? Shocking. Um, but we do, and and yeah. so there's always something that's coming out. Um, one of the one of uh, the 
narratives has been, you know, that the relationship has been fractured um, between with you and him, and you know, I just wanted to, for yeah. just to get that out there. Is that it? what is the no? That's not well. First of all, I, I don't know. I've never heard right. that. Um, but you know, that's certainly not the case. Um, you know, and I think Hunter's a great a great guy. I think Hunter's had a a really productive uh, career so far, and. Um, again, I think part of this is, you know, I, I need to focus on the things I can do to help, you know, that, you know, continue to improve. Um, you know, and we have other players too, you know what I mean? And those guys, you know, come along and do some things too. And, um, you know, that's the nature of when you have skilled players that, you know, they all want the ball and they all can do things to get the ball. And um, sometimes decisions, whether it's personnel groupings or scheme or what have you, um, that can affect that, obviously, you know. So the bottom line is Hunter's a, uh, still a, a really good football player and, and needs to be a part of our plan to help us win, and, um, and I need to do everything I can do to help ourselves do that. <clears throat> Earlier you were talking about working in Jacorian and Nate back to hopefully they can be able to play on Monday. How important would they be against a guy with a Mosse Brown skill sets? Yeah, um, this guy's really a talented player. Um, you know, I'm not sure that you're, you know, he just, he moves all over the formation. He's obviously a very integral part of their offense. Um, explosive player when he gets the ball in his hands, very difficult to tackle. Um, you know, again, you, it, you're probably not going to stop him from having the ball, um, you know, uh, in every situation. Uh, because it just, like I said, they do too many things with him. And um, he's going to end up with it at some point. So, um, just going to have to try to neutralize the yards after catch, honestly, as much as we can, because I think that's an explosive element of their offense that probably doesn't get as much attention as it should. Um, I think they do a really good job of, of trying to find ways for him to have space and then and be productive with the ball once he has it. But um, savvy route runner, really impressed with the way he's produced and, and improved throughout the course of his short career. Um, you know, evaluated him coming out, knew he was a good football player, but um, really just taken off, you know, so it's a big challenge for us. You're kind of talking about yards after catch, so with Nate being able to be the open tackler he is, you think yeah. that he could benefit in that work? Yeah, I mean, I mean, everybody's going to have to do that, you know, and um, like I said, they don't just put him inside, they put him outside, they motion him, they send him across the formation. Um, there's a lot of things they do schematically to, there's going to be a number of players that would end up, you know, either on him or near him, so um, you know, in general, our defense is going to need to tackle well on, on Monday night. Uh, this is a team that really has a lot of explosive players that can do some things with the ball. So uh, we're going to need to play with great effort, get to the football, get as many bodies as we can, use our help, and then try to limit that production as much as we can. You go from uh, playing noon in Chicago to now 8.30 p.m. Uh, in Detroit. Uh, how does that change the approach, especially game day? Well, yeah. When, when not, I mean, we don't have to leave a day earlier, you know what I mean? So because our, the time is not going to be playing at 10 o'clock in the morning, Vegas time or anything like that. So, um, you know, we'll leave tomorrow, normal, you know, normal travel day. Um, and then we have, you know, there's a little bit of a longer day of the game, you know, so uh, than what we've had, you know, since we're playing at 8, 15. Um, so we'll try to use our time wisely, you know, between meetings, rest, walkthroughs, uh, last minute, you know, preparations, et cetera. So, uh, that we're ready to go, you know, when the ball's kicked at 8.15. Josh, how, how might having a game so close to trade deadline affect the potential thinking going forward instead of having that, that full day after a game, but you guys are playing right up against that deadline? Yeah, I, you know, um, I don't know. It's a great question. Um, you know, I, I think that, you know, the guy, like I said, Dave and, and Champ and that crew upstairs really, you know, they're, they're – uh, monitoring whatever there is to monitor in that regard. Um, that, that happens every year with every team. Um, so I'm sure there are going to be little things here and there that come up the next few days. Again, I just kind of, I'm going to stay focused on the game, you know, and try to, to really do the best we can to finish our preparation here for Detroit. And, um, you know, again, I, I kind of go into every year thinking that, you know, there's not much that's going to, you know, happen that would, would affect us. and. If something does come up, then it'll be worth the conversation. But um, again, I think the focus now is just on the Detroit game. <clears throat> you guys good? Good. Thanks. Thanks. Okay.